Today we'll see one more entry question. Suppose if you have multiple tables, okay, you have a multiple tables with same structure. Uh, I want to load in single mapping. So how can we implement or how can we create needle mapping for that? Okay, so this is like one more frequently asked question. So suppose let's see, I have a table A and table B and table C with same structure. Okay, so I want to load the data into one of my table. Okay, but I don't want to, okay, I don't want to create multiple mappings for this. So remember, I have a same structure. So how can we create retail mapping for this? So such scenario, if it is the same structure, then you can use the union transformation and you can load the data into target, okay? So there is a one more approach if it is a file, okay? So with this table, we can do like this. Suppose you have a files with same structure, you can go with indirect load that we called as a list file approach. Okay, by using that, you can create a single mapping and you can do that. But coming to the list file approach, we no need union transformation. So we can provide all the details in the list file and we can load the data. It's like a, sin, a single one-to-one uh, uh, -one mapping, it's an indirect one. So we no need any transformations to merge it. Okay, so it's like a one-to-one -one mapping. By using this one, you can do that. But coming to that, coming to this scenario, we have a table. So if you are using a table, we cannot use this indirect approach. Okay, it's only applicable for the files. So such scenario, if anyone asks me to you, I have a, a number of tables, but I don't want to create multiple mappings. So source structure is same. Can you load the data into single table or single file, whatever it is? So you can use this union transformation over there and you can load it. But the thing you have to remember here is the structure of the uh, table should be same. Okay. So column names might be different. That also that's also fine. There is no issue. But data type should match. Such case. Okay. So the thing you have to remember here is, the first thing you have to remember here is, the source structure should be same. Suppose you are taking 10 tables, all the 10 tables structure should be same. Second thing you have to remember is, even though column names is different, if the data type matches between these tables, that's also works, okay? So for this, you have to create a union transformation and you can load the data into one target system, either file or table, that's fine, okay. So if anyone asks, it's a uh, flat file, I have 10 flat files or n number of flat files, okay, I want to load the data into one table or one file, can you tell me the approach? Yes, either you can use this approach, we use a union transformation, you can merge it, or else you can use a list file approach, Okay, so you can load the data. For remember, what, what is the difference between this list file approach and this normal map ingress? List file approach, you will not use any transformation in between. Just you have a source and target. Okay, we simply load the data. But coming here, we are using a union transformation. So this will play a major role here. So by using this, you can load the data into, into target system. Okay, that's what the difference. If it is a table, blindly you go with this approach. If it is a file, either you can use this approach or else you can directly use an indirect file approach. By using that, you can load the data into target system. That you have to, because they, they may confuse in entry sometimes. They may ask like this, I have a tables. Sometimes they may ask a file. Yeah, file also, this approach, you can use it. There is no issues. Okay, but easiest way is, is this one, indirect load, if you have a file. But this is not applicable for the tables. Okay, so let's see how to perform this NETL now. Okay.
So I just forgot to share the screen. So this is the flow. If it is a table, of the table, this is the flow. Suppose you have a number of tables, you use a union in between and we are loading the target. Suppose it's a flat file. Yes, you can use like this only. You can be using union transformation, you can load it or else. You can use an indirect file approach. So you can also load the data. Indirect file approach will have a source and target. Okay. You will not have any transformation in between. So we maintain all the information in the list. Okay. So let's see now how to implement this in Informatica. Okay, so first let me create some table. Okay. I'm going to create uh, three tables. Okay. So when this particular schema. Okay. So this database now what we'll do is create table IT. Okay. Employee name, uh, care of NT, employee ID is a number. Okay, and also employee location. Let's see, uh, care of NT. Okay, this is this is for IT department. Okay. So I am going to create one more table. This is for HR. Okay, so here I have a name, location. Okay, so this is for HR. So there is a one more team, let's see. Some non ET. Let's take like a, some marketing. Some marketing team is there. Okay. Here, employee ID, employee name, education. But if you see the column names, column names are different. But if you see the structure, structure remains same. Okay. Three tables we have created. Let's see. Okay, so let's click on ID. Let's have some data. Employee ID 100, 200. Okay. So let's make it like a Bangalore HYD. Okay, two records in this. Okay, so close. So I'm just going to hr here you have only one record sorry 300 okay so hyd so let's go to the marketing one and we'll have one more record over there so here employee 400 Okay, location, let's make it as Chennai. Add 100. Okay, so from Pune. So now, these are the records what we have. So three tables we have. We have uh, two records here. And here we have uh, two records and HR having only one record. Okay, so now what we'll do, we'll import into Informatica and we'll see that how to load this information into target system. Let's create one target also. Okay, so same thing. Let me create a target. So Now, first we'll try to Uh, 
recursos. Three resources are imported. We import a target also. Now we go and create a ping. So much. Okay. So now just to go and drag and drop your sources. This is one source. And this is another source. And another one is this one. Okay, so now what we'll do is we just take a union transformation. So now let's see, we have three input groups. So we have to create three input groups, one output group. Okay, so now what we have to do is, okay. So now one group is default by default. So now we can add two more groups. So it will expect the input from the Now you can see here, even though column names are different, okay? Sorry. This is like a different transformation. It's a different source. So now you can see here, even the source columns are different. Here is employee ID, here is ID, here is E underscore ID. Here the column names are different, but we are connecting to one union. So it will merge the data and it will load it. So if you have a different columns also, no need to worry. But only thing, the data types between the sources should match. The, suppose let's see here ID is a character, here ID is a number. No, we cannot perform this kind of activity. So the things you have to remember want to use the join, sorry, this uh, union. So the column names, if different also, that's fine. Data type should match and structure also should match. That is only the thing. And suppose you have three columns here, if you have two columns here, no, it won't work. Okay, so that is what you have to remember. So now let's get a target also. So now you see here we have one output group. That's it. Arrange all. So now if you have such kind of requirement, yes, you can use it and you can load the data. Suppose if you, if you have a structure different, instead of going this union, you can go with the joiner transformation, okay? But if you want to use a joiner transformation, there should be a common column between the tables or suppose they have, you are joining a file and table, there should be some co common column. So suppose you have an employee ID here. So based on this employee ID, I'm matching and loading the data. But here, no need any matching condition. So as per the structure, just we are merging and loading into the target. So here, if you see in the union transformation, we are not using any condition. Just it will merge all the data into one target. That's it. So the thing you have to remember is we are not using any condition here. But if you want to use a joint transformation, there should be some condition and there should be a matching record between the condition. Then only to load the data here. It won't check anything. Okay. So let's try to generate a workflow for this. So before running, just check whether your target having a data or not. No data. Just running it. 
done. Let's check the record. So it should be six records. So two plus two, sorry, five records. It should be five records. Now you see here the source one, two, two, target so having five records. So all the records got loaded. So let's check here. See here, all the records got loaded. So now if you can see here, so last time we have discussed why union is active transformation. So when uh, last time when I take a session on this active pass transformations, you could see that I told I, I told union is a active transformation. Even though we are getting same count as output, it is a active transformation. Why? Because now you can see here uh, the order of the employee IDs. So now I have connected IT as a first. I have connected marketing as a second source. Okay, so now I connected HR as a third source. If you see that IT having a employee numbers with starting with 100, 200. Okay, but if you see here where it got loaded, it loaded second. So that is the reason. So we told that union is an active transformation because the row order, it is not the same as coming from source. So that's the reason it's active transformation. So even though it is loading all the records, the order of the rows it is loading into the target is different. So this is the example you can see here. So as per the mapping, IT is the first source. Then it should be first, right? But it is loaded second. That means the order it is changing and loading into the target system. That's the reason you need say active transformation. Okay, so that's all for today. So we'll see another question and I mean next session. Yeah, that's all for today.